In this tutorial, I will teach you how to take apart and reassemble the 5x5 Rubik's Cube. Now this is the retooled version of it, not the original one. And another note is that when this is first bought, this is incredibly hard to take apart. But a little while ago, I lubricated it with Vaseline, and then after a few months, I cleaned it all out and then put silicone in it. And then just from the sheer amount of usage, it is incredibly loose, and for me, it'll be very easy to take apart because I can just pull out one of these edge pieces very easily, and you won't be able to. So, I will try to show you the best I can the way I remember taking it apart when it was tight, so just try to follow along as best you can. So the first thing you want to do is grip this corner piece and then twist it around like this. And then push towards the corner and then just pop it out. Just like that. Now be very careful with it. Don't apply too much force or it might break. Now another way you can try taking it apart is moving these two layers forward and then bringing these two down. This opens up a gap and it might make it a little easier to pull out this edge piece. But nonetheless, you can either push it out or misalign the layers. It doesn't matter. And then do the same for these two corners too. So just go push and until it pops out. Just like that. So for here, I'll misalign them and pull it out. Just like that. When you misalign these layers, you might also be able to take out these middle edge pieces, and that will make things a little easier if you can. But just in case you can't, I will demonstrate without them. Now you want to take out these edge pieces, and since you made room over here, you can push these middle edge pieces aside, and then just, it will be pretty tough for you to just pull it out, just like that. It's very easy for me, as I said, but it will be hard for you. Then do the same right here and pop it out. So now just continue taking out these middle pieces until you're left with the center edge pieces and the corners and the centers. Now shove all of these pieces aside here and now we're gonna take apart this basically like a 3x3 three three, but it is held together a lot tougher than the 3x3 three three is. Like the pieces lock together. So what we're gonna do is Rotate this layer just a little bit to the right, like this, and then rotate this layer down, down like this, so that the little notch comes right out of place. Okay, so basically what you're doing, what you want to do here, is push this piece aside like this, and then pull this piece forward so that that little notch right there slips right out, and then you can just basically pull it out. then just completely take apart these pieces. Okay, now what I recommend you do is take all of the bigger inner pieces and then point them towards you like this so that you can get a clear view of all the pieces. Okay, now we are going to assemble it just like the 3x3. Three three. It will just be a little harder to do. So take an edge piece a middle edge piece like this, and then fit it in the place where it's supposed to go. Just like that. And then find an edge piece that will fit here, here, there, or there. So I got an orange white one and fit it there. Now I need to get the orange, green, and white one. And then fit that into place. And then get the green white edge and fit that into place just like that. And then just basically continue doing that until you just got the top layer to go. Okay, now for the last layer, take an edge and pop it into place with the center rotated 45 degrees. Then take a corner, fit that into place and then just continue doing this. And then for the last two corners, just stick those in there first. And then put in the last edge piece and it should just snap right in place. 
there you go. Now for all the inner pieces. Now it doesn't matter how you put in the other pieces, you can put them in randomly and then just solve the cube. You just you need to have all of the pieces in the correct position like this, otherwise the cube will most likely be unsolvable. Okay, so take one of these edge pieces here, and then just fit that into place and down onto the bottom layer. So you should have those edge pieces on three sides. Then rotate it up like this and fit these center pieces down in here. Okay, so take one of these middle edge pieces that looks just like this, and then just push it right in there between the edge and the center. Should fit just right in there. Then take one of the corner center pieces and then push that right into place. Right down there. And then just continue doing that until you have this whole side filled in. There, so when you have all of these pieces done, push them down so that they are on the bottom layer. And then just continue filling in all of the center pieces until you have the top layer left to go. Okay, and then for the top layer, go ahead and start fitting in these edge pieces. Like that. And then stop right here and start filling in these pieces. And then put in this piece here. And put in that piece. Do the same on the other side. And then put in these pieces. Okay, now here comes the tough part, putting in these last ones. Now, this will be hard to do, but you should be able to fit this piece in there. And then this one may be a little tough, so you may want to push these pieces aside like this, open up the gap even bigger, and then just push it in there. Again, it may be tough. Now for the last piece, there are two ways you can do it. First off, you can just stick it in there, and then put the piece like under this edge piece like that, and then take a flathead screwdriver and then just push down on that bottom part until it snaps into place. Just like that. Or you can misalign the layers again. So you can turn them a little bit this way and then turn these layers down like this to open up a gap again. And then if you do it right, you can just slide the piece down in there. Maybe a little tough to do. There, so now I have completely taken apart and reassembled it. And just remember to do this at your own risk. A lot of people in the previous versions of this video have broken their cubes, so be very careful and proceed with caution when taking apart this cube. This concludes the tutorial.